God bless each and one of you. Um, happy Sabbath, everybody. God bless each and one of you. Um, I was praying before I um, I was I was um recording and I prayed and God gave me this word and God told me to share with everybody because that's the that's the goodness of our Lord. Um, I hope all of you are having a great Sabbath, um, a great time with the Lord right now. Any of you who are fasting, any one of you who are, you know, right now with your family members or anything, God bless each and one of you, wherever you are part of the world. God loves so, you so much, and he loves every nation. All nations belong to him. Um, everyone, I want to read Philippians 4 to verse 4 all the way to verse 7. And the Lord is coming soon. Amen, brothers and sisters. God is with each and one of us. You know, this word has been a lot on this channel. But God keeps telling me to share this. And it's true. God is with each and one of us. But the flesh, it's so sinful. It doesn't want anything to do with God. But our spirit longs for God. Okay, I'm going to read this, okay, brothers and sisters. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. I will say it again. Be joyful. Let everyone know how gentle you are. The Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Jesus Christ. God's peace can never be completely understood. Man, amen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless each among you. Brothers and sisters, um, um, today we were, um, you know, I was at service and um, the Lord was really speaking about a lot how God is with us and to not doubt and to not worry about anything because, you know, like we are supposed to come to him and give him thanks to for us to know like he is with each one of us amen brothers and sisters at at the bottom when it says um the um god's peace can never be completely understood it says in the bible god works in mysterious ways that does not mean we can't know him but the way he works is mysterious. But let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. God is always at work. He does not sleep. He is always at work. Praise God. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, um, we should rejoice. We should rejoice because that is God. God is good all the time and he deserves all the glory, the praise, and the honor. He has all the will, authority. Okay, when we proclaim the name of Jesus, demons tremble. Okay, um, the reason why I wanted to share this with each one of you is, you know, lately, you know, um, and like, um, I want to share a testimony with you. Um, so a, a couple of days ago, in my own house, um, you know, I've been seeing these things a lot lately, but I want to share this because this really goes with. The, pre the the words that God is speaking, you know, you know what I mean? So, a couple of days ago, I was presented a demon, okay? And it looked like a goat. And its legs were like, you know, like, it was bended, right? And it had like this black clothing on it, but it was like broken. And it had a long gray beard, okay? And the ears were like, you know, oval. And it looked like a goat, okay? And this same demon would be presented a lot. I don't know why, but I keep praying about it. I put it in God's hands. Amen. And when I was present, it was inside my bathroom. Okay. I want to share another testimony, but just just hold on with me, okay? Because God's good every day, okay? Um, when I saw it, I started rebuking it in the name of Jesus. I said, I rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is all over this house. Lord Jesus, you have all the will and authority. And I and I and I kept praying, I kept rebuking, and like with all my faith in Jesus, you know, like he died on the cross and three days later rose again. You were already defeated, 
And the double, he is already defeated. He acts like if he could win. He tried tempting Jesus while doing the 40 day fast. And did Jesus fall for it? No. Did Jesus fall for any sins here? No. And the thing is, you know, there's like a lot of preachers nowadays, okay? Actually, I want to um, share this with each one of you. Um, everybody, turn to me. Isaiah. Isaiah 42, okay? Um, Old Testament. And when God shared, when God like told us this, I was amazed, okay? Because there's so many preachers right now preaching the word of God, but it's not God. It's them who know Jesus Christ, but it's not Jesus Christ in them. They only take what they know and preach about it. Now, that's the part that we got to um, be careful because if God doesn't send us somewhere, we don't go. Just like what Moses said. If you don't um, go with us, Lord, we will not go for, you know, he is our protector and, and everything. And it's only him who guides us the whole way. You know what I mean? You know what God means? So, um, everybody turn to me to Isaiah. Um, the Lord is good every day, brothers and sisters. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, every day is a new day that God gives each and one of us. And we should all be grateful for the days that God gives each and one of us. We should all rejoice. We should all give God his praise for he deserves it all. He deserves it all. Praise God. God deserves all the glory, brothers and sisters. Okay, so Isaiah 42, and just hold on with me, brothers and sisters, all right? I just want to mention a lot of things here because God was, like, you know, like, like opening a lot of things, and I just, I really want to share this because, honestly, this is powerful. So look at this. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. So this is verse 1, but I'm going to read and then, you know. So, in the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Here is my servant. I take good care of him. I have chosen him. I am very pleased with him. I will put my spirit on him. He will bring justice to the nations. Okay, so right here is speaking about a servant. And this is in Isaiah, okay? And... He's talking about how God putting his words in the prophet. So listen to this. The, the chosen servant to do his work. So listen to this. He will not shout or cry out. Okay. But look at what it says here. He will not raise his voice in the streets. Okay, brothers and sisters, I don't want to bring out any um, brothers and sisters who are preaching, you know, like that. And because I'm not here to judge I'm not here to, to point fingers. For all of us, we all fall short of the glory of God. But God does um, explain to us as a father to a son. Why does he call out things like this? Why does he call out man and man and woman and woman is bad? Because when he, when God loves us so much, he wants to show us the right way. For if he doesn't show us the right way, then we would be more like the devil, not like God. Rebuke God our demons in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, brothers and sisters, the reason why God is um, showing us um, these prophets nowadays, he said it. He said that there would be a lot of false prophets, a lot of false prosperities that would be preached. And that it sounded so good that people will believe the word instead of believing the word of God. Okay? People call this the Bible. It is the Bible. You know, Holy Bible, he only left you basic instructions before leaving earth. That's how I think of it. It's, it's instructions that God placed it. But the thing is, I call it the word of God. Why? Because the words are still going. It never stopped. Don't you ever saw that? When it spoke about love of God, what's happening right now? The love of God is going around the world. Now, listen to this, okay, brothers and sisters. God speaks strong, but he speaks with love. Okay, and people get that confused. Okay, um, but when when God's gonna use somebody, they usually pr um pray, and when they pray, they say, "May it be you who is speaking and not me." For who is the true one speaking? The Lord. For the the message has came to us to share with others, so it hasn't come to. So is it us who had the message, 
No, he gave the message to us so that we could share it with others, so that we could pray for others, so that chains can be broken in the name of Jesus, so that the um the dead can be raised in the name of Jesus. Demons tremble when we proclaim the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Okay? Okay. The reason why I wanted to bring up Isaiah 42, verse 1 to um, verse 2, is because there's so many things that's wrong, like, that, that, you know, like, um, people, they're just changing the word how they want it. It says in Revelation, you know what, let's go to Revelation. Let's go to chapter 22. And most of you are probably not actually grabbing your Bibles looking through. That's fine. You can look here on the screen. God bless each and one of you. Um, first, let me read this of Revelation chapter 22, verse 10. Look at this. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, all the God's people say, Amen. Okay. Then he told me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy in this book. These things are about to happen. Let the person who does wrong keep on doing wrong. Let the evil person continue to be evil. Let the person who does right keep on doing what is right. And let the holy person continue to be holy. Amen. Before I keep going, I just want to say real quick is that when we follow Christ, we know nothing, not even one percentage is in our hands. Everything is in our Heavenly Father's hands. We got to know that we have no will. We have no authority. And we definitely got no power. But in the name of Jesus, there is power. And chains can be broken. Demons can be cast out of people. The dead can be raised. His tomb is empty. We are serving the living Christ. And he's coming back to pick up his people. But we need to keep on praying. We need to keep on growing spiritually. Okay, brothers and sisters? Look, it's not to judge anybody. I'm not here to judge anybody either. I mean, I will pray for you, for your family members. After um, we're done reading the verses, I ask you that may you join me in prayer. But before that, um, I want to continue. But I just want to let you know how much God loves you. He sent his son to die on the cross so that we would not have to die. But rather have an opportunity. He said opportunity. Not just, you know, like straightforward. Because if it was like that, then then most people would be committing sin. No, no, no. When you come to Christ, it's not God changing your life. Rather, God giving you new life. He is the water of life. He is the bread of life. Okay? So, let's continue reading. Okay? Amen, amen. Alright. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Look, I am coming soon. I bring my my rewards with me. I reward each person for what they have done. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the first and the last. I am the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes. They will have the right to come to the true of life. They will be allowed to go through the gates into the city. Outside the city are those who are impure. These people include the those who practice witchcraft outside are also those who commit sexual sins and murder outside are those who worship statues of gods and outside is everyone who loves and does what is false amen so before i uh, i keep going i want to share another testimony i forgot to share the other one okay so one day um um i was making a video about Gigi avila um how to overcome the flesh or in Spanish. So, um, while we were listening to this preaching, my mom was praying, okay? And I was reading the Bible and everything. And one of my windows, they were open, okay? So, I closed it, right? And in the bathroom, there was a demon. But it wasn't a demon. It was Satan himself, okay? The reason why how I know this was I had I've been having these dreams a long time ago and it was him literally like trying to get me scared and all that and I remember Jesus came into the room and like he put
put the big light and he said that I am with you. So that was a dream I had a long time ago. Not too, too long ago, like a couple months ago. But I've been having like dreams back and forth about like how Jesus is coming and everything. So stay tuned because I'm going to share that soon. Anyways, um, he was like, you know, like that. And he had two horns here, two horns here. And he had a rifted, like, clothing. Man, I rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus. God got all the will. And once when I saw, I didn't see, like, I saw him, like, how I see, you know, people. Like, how, like how you see me. But I saw it clear, okay? I've been seeing a lot of things clear around my house. Like, like, um, like, it looks like sometimes, like, it looks like angels and demons fighting each other, okay? And... The devil himself, he was like, you know, like that. And I was like, I rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus. I started reading Psalms 34, the whole book, the whole um, chapter. And I, and, I, and I kept rebuking. And I remember my voice started breaking, so it was like, <sighs> you know, like, it was like that. Because I, I, I was on the top of my lungs. But I felt the Holy Spirit, though. And I didn't even notice that was happening to my throat. And, like, after I felt peace around the house, my mom started rebuking and all that. And, well, she was praying. Um, I felt peace and all that. And, like, and I was praying to God and everything. My voice got healed, like, in minutes. I felt lightheaded, right? I had, like, um, pain in my head. And I didn't, I wanna, I didn't really want to take any pills or anything like that, but that's how much I heard it. And I said, I rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus. And I prayed right there because I was still doing the Gigi Avila, um... Um, video if, if you don't know him um he was a spanish preacher um evangelist and he used them a lot like greatly you know for his kingdom and all that but he passed away but we will see him one day in heaven amen um i like listening to his preachers like him and hector de la cruz I, i'm starting to hear more of a.a a. allen i hear sometimes billy graham but i'm starting to hear like these like older older preachers so i'm trying like you know see more preach preachings because you know like the word of god is so special so you know like the preachers nowadays like you know the people who you know make videos for god and all that they it's different from back then because back then it was literally about god no joking around anything it was pure respect for god it was like you know like like not that God ain't at work anymore today, but it's like people are just so doubtful now. Like, those things a lot of people don't see a lot anymore. And I remember, like, there were these preachers with, preachers who were, like, Spanish and all that. I'm not saying it's just Spanish, but, like, I'm just saying, like, some people right now, they're just changing the word for their likeness, and that ain't God at all, Okay. I'm about to read more Revelation. It's about to explain more of that, okay? He even explains it, okay? But I just want to say that we got to love our, our brothers and sisters. And we got to be careful what comes out of our mouth. For it says in the, in the Word of God, everything that we say will be accountable. It also says, it's not what goes inside of a person that defiles them, but what comes out of their mouth comes from the heart. Okay, let's keep reading. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this witness for the churches. I am the root and the son of David. I am the bright morning star. The Holy Spirit and the bride say, come. And the person who hears should say, come. Anyone who is thirsty should come. Anyone who wants to take the free gift of water of life should do so. I am warning everyone who hears the word of the prophecy of this book. Suppose someone adds anything to them. This is speaking about what's happening nowadays. Like been happening, but it's talking about this generation. Then God will add to that person the plagues told about in this book. Suppose take someone takes away any words from the book of prophecy. Then God will take away from that person the blessings told about in this book. God will take away their share in the tree of life. God will also take away their place in the holy city jesus is a witness about these things he says yes i am coming soon amen come lord jesus may the grace of 
the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. You know, um, I remember how, how, when I was so young, I was trying to understand what was the purpose of life because I didn't know anything about Jesus or anything like that back then. I'm so, like, we knew him in 2018, but then we left around, like, what, 2019, 2020? And then we came back and, like, you know, God's doing a revival with each one of us, you know? We're all growing and, like, in the midst of this specific channel, um, you know, I was, like, really... Not this channel, by the way. Family of Seven Ministries. We will be um, uploading again there. We're just getting everything ready. All in the name of Jesus. God knows how he's doing it. Amen. Um, it used to be all about like cars and games and all that. And now, like I realize because God spoke to me so strong about like that I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So I really thought about it. Like, you know, like what's the future of doing that? And I really saw the future of doing God's work. But also the, uh, so like, the spiritual growth that I, like, more, me learning more about God. Like, you know? The thing people really get confused is that people, um, think God is some strict man and all that. God is a God of love, but he's also a God of holiness, okay? So when bad things happen, it's not always God. You know, when you get sick, like when you send in all that, like gluttony, what happens? When you eat a lot, what happens? You get, like, bad stuff in your stomach, right? When you, um, a lot of bad stuff and all that, you get sick. Sometimes that's God putting a sickness over you, but sometimes it's not. Um, not every sin God is, um, like, you know, like, ah, but... It says in the Bible, God, he loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. Why? Because he's a God of holiness. He said that there is one man and one woman. Okay? You're probably why I'm mentioning that. A lot of Christians are getting this wrong. We should be praying, not judging or anything. In the Bible, it says not to judge. But it, it also says to call out. But... The thing people got to confuse is that God is supposed to guide you doing preaching, preaching, doing videos like, like, you know, like preaching, doing Bible studies and all that. It's God guiding. It's not just you doing it out of you. Like when God guides you and says go, you go, you know, like when God guides you, it's when God leads you to, um, to preach. It's him giving you the word, not you having, um, not you, um. Just like, you know, um, reading any good word that you hear and share with other people. The reason why I shared the rejoicing and all is that because a lot of people right now, they're in doubt of God or they've been praying a lot to the Lord Jesus and they just want confirmation and they just want to like, no, is it God in God's hands? God is saying, yes, it, it, you, all your prayers are in my hands, in my hands. God does put a pause to prayers. He does say yes to prayers, but he also says no to prayers. He says hold on to that prayer. He says keep praying for that prayer. Why? That's how we grow our faith. That's how we grow more of our trust in Jesus Christ. That's how we build our relationship with Jesus Christ, okay? A lot of people don't see it that way. But God does things in such an ordered way. None of us can like truly understand how he works. But we can know who he is. Because of what he left us. But don't let that fool you though. He's still at work today. Brothers and sisters. Um, let's pray together. Amen. Father God. I present any everybody who is watching this. And everybody who is not watching this. All their family members. Their, all their schools. All their teachers. All their classmates. Their students. All their parents. And all their children and grandchildren, all the pastors, evangelists, missionaries, prophets, ministers, and teachers, Lord God, all the mission 
missionaries right now in countries, Lord Jesus. Only you know what's going to happen to them, Lord Jesus. Please have mercy on each and one of them, Lord Jesus. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Lord Jesus. We thank you for everything that you have been doing. And we thank you for letting our prayers be in your hands, Lord Jesus. We trust you, Lord Jesus, with all of our hearts, Lord God. And we love you, Lord, so much. And we thank you for your love, Lord Jesus. Praise be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Lord God, that may you have mercy on each and one of us. And forgive us all, for we have all fallen short of your glory, Lord Jesus. May you make us a new creation from head to toe. For only you know every inch of our hair. For only you know truly all the days we live on the earth, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And praise be your holy name, Lord Jesus. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless each and one of you. And remember that Jesus is with each and one of you. Also remember that your prayers are in his hands. Remember that Jesus is coming soon. And he loves you. And he wants to have a relationship with you. Open your heart to him. Because he is the way, the truth, and the light. He is a God of love. He is a God of holiness. He will never fail you. He is the same of years ago, yesterday, and surely today. God bless each and one of you, and may, mer and may God have mercy on each and one of us. God bless each and one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.